Hello and welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the RDA. This is your Manchester United versus Brentford match preview in which we are just that much closer till the end of the season. We can all take a break from this football club, refresh, rethink, reanalyze, you know, redo everything at this football club, reassess it and come back fresh next season. But I think we at the moment, we're just trying to get over the line and see out the rest of the season, not that there's anything really that, you know, we have to see out anyways but anyways do smash a like on the video do subscribe if you are new i think this is going to be quite similar to chelsea's uh chelsea's game in the fact in the sense that um chelsea didn't perform to their best so i think even if brentford do perform to their best it's going to be the similar type of performance against chelsea so i think um this game is going to go very similar to the as of the chelsea game with regards to what what team ralph is going to pick we do not know because there's so many injuries so many players who are doubts you know so many people who can't play that the team kind of just picks itself at the moment. Unless he's going to throw in a Ganacho or he's going to throw in like a Hannibal. We probably won't see that much of a different team um, in the Brentford game, you know. So let's just see what happens. Um, but other than that, I fully expect this game to play down very similar to Chelsea. I think, you know, United's last game at home. So you would hope that they would put in a performance worth cheering for. You know, a good send-off to the fans and a good send-off, you know, just for our home our home campaign this season but you know how this team is this season you can never trust them you know you can never trust them but let's talk about the team here next to me i think they have all been gold because i think that's just how it is um ralph has also asked about giving players like mata matic the last um game at old trafford as a send-off but he said um he'd love to do that but he's got a game to win so what does that imply does that imply that he won't pick those guys even though i think even if you did pick a mata and a matic in this game It'd probably be smooth sailing still, you know, and what, what's the worst thing that's going to happen? We're going to lose, doesn't affect us, so at the end of the day, I don't really care who he picks. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, day and go, I think it'll be the low at right back, doubt Aaron wan will play, I think Varane will come back, Lindelof will come back. Obviously, there's no um, Harry Maguire, and Bailly just doesn't seem to play, so I think those will be the centre-backs, Tellers will play a little bit better in the Chelsea game, so, you know, just play him anyways, who else do we have? Luke Shaw's out for the season. In midfield, Fred, he might be back, but considering he hasn't trained also for so long, I don't know if Ralph will play him. So I think Matic will play again. I think Scott McTominay will play and Bruno Fernandes. Because who else do we have? There's no one. If you think about it, there's actually no one else we can play. We could maybe play Mata in Bruno's position and put Bruno on the wing instead of Rashford. But other than that, what, what else are you going to do? You know, there really isn't much you can do. Same with the front line. There's no Jessies. There's no Sancho's. There's obviously no Mason. There's no Martial. So... What else is left? It's just Ilanga, Ronaldo and Rashford. Even though I definitely don't think Rashford deserves to play. And I'd much rather like to see Ganacho. You know, I'd like to see uh, some youth players. But for some reason, Rolf doesn't seem like he cares about that. And he's, for some reason, Rolf says we need to win these games. Even though I don't see the point for it, you know. I don't. It's, anyways, at the end of the season, you should be looking to play some youth players regardless. You know, unless you're really competing for a Champions League spot or the Premier League itself. There's no reason why not to, I'd say, you know. There's really, I can't really think of a good reason for not playing the youth, you know. I'd like to see some youth, but that's just me. That's just me. In terms of the score prediction, uh, Google is saying that 56% chance of a Manchester United win, you know, quite for once, quite some, quite a big favourite, yeah. A draw, 23%, and a 21% chance of win. But also, if you look at the league table, I just want to see for any regards, because, you know, that Ralph quote is bothering me. Where it says he'd like to win this game. I mean, we, we'd like to win every game, but, you know, if we win it, we, we go equal to Tottenham in fifth place. So, yeah, it's, 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 it's curtains, you know. But um, in terms of personally, what I'm going to predict, I think it's going to be tight. I think Brentford will give it their all. Where's Brentford on the table, actually? Brentford's last form. They, Brentford's pretty in good form. Three wins, one draw, and a loss in the last five games. Better than, better than United's form. How close they are to relegation. Nah, uh, Brentford are. Brentford are safe. Brentford are safe. Um, I'd probably predict... Let's, let's, let's go with the... Let's go with the 1-1, one, one, you know. Let's go with the 1-1. One, one. Actually not. Ronaldo, if Ronaldo plays, you got to have hope. So 2-1 United. But I think it could be a 1-1 one, one and we could slip up. Other than that, there's really not much else to cover. Everyone else is injured. Or doubts. Um... This is the team we have for the re remainder of the season. It is what it is. We play Brentford. Then we play... Um, who do we play, actually? We play Brentford. We play Brighton. And I believe there's quite a 
big break for our last game. Yeah. So yeah, those are our fixtures. Those are our fixtures. But let's let's see what happens. Anyways, uh, smash a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. I shall see you all very soon. Goodbye.